today we are going to install Windows 10 in a VMware Fusion virtual machine. So the first thing you want to do is open up Safari and then you can go to Google or I typically like to use DuckDuckGo.com. Then we're going to download Windows 10 ISO. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on the first one, which is to download the Windows 10 disk image, which is an ISO file from Microsoft.com, which is going to take you to their website. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to select which edition we want. So we're going to do the multi-edition ISO and click on Confirm. Now we're going to choose the language. Obviously, you would want to pick whichever one you need. Here I'm going to go ahead and choose English United States and click confirm. I'm going to go ahead and choose the 64-bit so that I can allocate more RAM to the virtual machine. It would allow you to uh, give more than three gigs to three gigabytes of RAM to the virtual machine. So I'm going to click 64-bit. And then we're going to wait for it to finish downloading. Great. Now that the Windows 10 disk image has finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and install it. So you want to open up VMware Fusion. And you want to go to File and create a new virtual machine. Then you want to create a custom virtual machine and click Continue. And then you want to choose Windows 10 64-bit version. Click Continue. And we're going to leave it as UEFI boot and click continue. And we're going to create a new virtual disk. Go ahead and click continue. And we're going to customize those settings. Um, once I click on customize settings, it wants to know what to save it as. So I'm going to leave it as Windows 10 X64 and click save. Okay, now I'm going to change the processor and memory, and I'm going to give it two cores, and I'm going to give it double the amount of RAM that it currently has. So instead of 2048, I'm going to give it 4096. And then I'm going to go back to show all for the settings, and I'm going to go back in to the settings under the CD DVD drive. and I'm going to choose a disk or disk image and I'm going to choose the one that we just downloaded which is Windows 10 22H2 English X64 and I'm going to click open. Now that we've got all that connected we're going to go ahead and close out of the settings and then we're going to go ahead and start the virtual machine. I'm going to click in the virtual machine, press enter once it says to boot from the CD or DVD. So I'm going to press enter and it immediately starts booting to the Windows 10 setup. Now they've made this setup very easy for Windows 10. It's um, very user friendly. It's not very difficult at all. I'm just going to let it do English for the language, English for the time and currency, and US for the keyboard or input method. And I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to click Install, and it's starting the setup. Okay, so at this point you would put in your product key. I'm just going to skip that for now and say I don't have a product key, and you can always put it in later. I'm going to go ahead and install the Windows 10 Pro X64 version. Not the Pro In or Pro Education or Pro Education In or Pro for Workstations. I'm just doing the Pro X64. Um, and then I'm going to click Next. You can choose one of the other options. There's not a problem with any of them. I just don't need it. Okay, at this point, I'm going to accept the license terms and click Next. And I'm going to do a custom install. And it has 60 gigabytes available for me. So I'm just going to tell it to install on that and click Next. And it's going to go ahead and 
format the drive, it's going to copy the files, get the files ready, install the features, install the updates, and finish. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wait for all this to finish, and when it does finish, we'll be back. Great, now it is finishing up the Windows 10 installation and it's just getting ready at the moment. Great, now it just wants to know which region we are in, so we're going to leave it as United States and click Next or Yes. Uh, then we're going to leave it as U.S. for the keyboard layout and click Yes. And then we don't need a second keyboard layout. If you do, obviously you would click Add Another Layout. But at this point, I'm just going to click Skip. If you did have another language that you wanted to communicate with somebody in, that's when you would add a second keyboard. Great. Now at this point, it wants to know who's going to use the PC. So I'm just going to call it user. You can make it anything that you'd like. And then go ahead and click next. And then it wants a password. Um, I'm, I'm not going to put one in, so I'm just going to click next. And it won't even ask you for a password. When you turn the computer on and it logs into Windows. Here it wants you to choose the privacy settings for your device. You can go in and customize these any way you'd like. I'm just going to leave everything on just since I'm showing you, but you can change these if you'd like to. I'm going to click Accept. Here it wants you to customize your experience. Are you going to use this computer for entertainment or gaming or school or creativity, business or family? Um, so for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and choose entertainment um, and business. And so I'm going to click accept on that. Now you can choose all of them if you'd like to. Uh, it just really depends on what you would prefer. Here, I'm going to let it uh, go ahead and use Cortana. You can choose whether or not you want Cortana, but it does help you out because it'll tell you the weather, it'll tell you stocks, it'll tell you news and it'll be all relevant to where you are currently uh, located, where you reside. So I'm going to go ahead and click Accept. Great, it finally finished installing. So at this point, the only other thing that you would need to install in order for it to interact with your computer a little bit easier is the VMware tools. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to press Control Command on your keyboard and go up to Virtual Machine and then you want to click on Install VMware Tools. And it's going to disconnect the Windows 10 installer disk and connect the VMware Tools installer CD. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install and then it's going to connect that to the Windows 10 virtual machine. Great, now that it's connected we're going to go ahead and click on it and tell it to run the setup 64. Uh, go ahead and click yes on this window if you get it and then it's going to go ahead and start the uh, VMware tools installation. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and click maybe later on this window that says browse the web with Microsoft Edge. We don't need that. Um, and then here on the VMware tool setup, I'm going to click next. I always do a complete. So if you ever move it to another computer, you have all the drivers you'll need for it to work with that computer. Go ahead and click next and click install. Now it's going to install everything and once it finishes, it'll want to restart the Windows 10. But at that point, everything will be working perfectly. The only thing you might want to do is install the rest of the update. Here you want to go ahead and click finish for it to finish installing the VMware tools and go ahead and click yes to restart it. And that's everything. I'll post another video so that you know how to install the Windows 10 updates but it's very simple and it'll automatically do them for you if you don't do it yourself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll have another video up very shortly. Thanks so much. Bye for now.